This is Woodhenge. This was a smaller monument consisting of six concentric rings of wooden posts that pointed up towards the sky as much as 4,000 years ago. And this monument itself, being circular in the same way that Stonehenge was, suggests to us that the 90 stones around the edge of Durrington was a huge great circle in itself. The largest ring of stones anywhere in Europe, perhaps even in the world. Incredibly, the newly discovered Superhenge is not all that has been uncovered beneath the earth here. Since July 2010, an international team of experts, as part of the Stonehenge Hidden Landscapes Project, has been mapping the entire area using the latest technology. More than 15 underground sites have been found. The landscape around Stonehenge is actually archaeologically very, very rich. Rather than Stonehenge being this monument that sits by itself in Salisbury Plain, what has been revealed is that it is part of a vast sacred landscape that once covered Salisbury Plain and went all the way down to the River Avon. There's no doubt that these finds will cause English archaeologists to have to revisit everything we know about Stonehenge because Stonehenge is not going to be considered an isolate or something that's curious. While mainstream scientists believe Stonehenge and its surrounding sites were ancient ritual and burial grounds, there is no written record to explain why ancient people chose to move and erect massive blocks that weigh up to 50 tons some of which were transported from over 100 miles away. And now that a second Stonehenge has been found, the theory that these sites were simply burial grounds has been thrown into greater question. These ancient people had a great deal of knowledge about how to align these structures perfectly. So we're dealing with an advanced civilization, to say the least, where they had that knowledge, where they got that knowledge, where they developed the ability to put these incredible monuments together, it boggles the mind. Archaeologists believe that Stonehenge's two rings of standing stones may be simply the remains of a much larger structure based on the presence of the earthen henge that surrounds it. This has led to speculation that Superhenge also contained additional rings, and that these structures might even have had walls and roofs. But if true, was this area of England much more than simply a site of religious ceremony? When we look to these extraordinary structures on Earth, it makes you wonder, did extraterrestrials have a hand in creating these massive monuments, or did they teach humans how to build these monuments? So you have to wonder what the purpose of these giant stone circles are around the world. Is it possible that they were some kind of spaceport or conceived city? Is it possible that Stonehenge and the many structures that surround it are the remnants of an extraterrestrial spaceport? 